keep the guards, particularly Harden, out of the middle of the floor. Don't let them get in the paint. And I think the second key is win the battle on the board. That's it? That's it. The officials tonight. But the crew chief is Rodney Bott with Kane Fitzgerald and Alandis Poole. But I'll tell you one thing that I'm really excited about when you talk about peril is when Al comes back, be it end of this year or next year, you have a viable big man now because he has confidence in himself and he had some time on the floor. So it's going to make for a very interesting, you know, bench for the Hawks now that Perro's in that starting lineup and he's playing. A Houston ball club that's third in the league in scoring at 105.8 per game. Dwight Howard hooks it home. Well, the difference in White House and Roy Hibbers is Dwight Howard is a much more physical guy, and he looks to get down low and try to make plays under the basket. And a much more skilled score in yes. that low post. No question about it. Orbers pass goes out of bounds. It was touched last by Hughes. White Howard let Millsap get to that baseline. And Paul wisely reversing to keep the shot blocker at bay. Harden for three. And that's what you don't want him doing, getting those type of open looks. He has been on a magnificent roll with... Three straight games of 37 or more coming in. And the last time that he played Phillips Arena, James Harden went for 45. That was opening night a year ago. Harden is up to fifth in the league in scoring at 24.9. Bounces to Howard, goes in, slams it. Oh, boy. That was a nice shovel pass by Harden. But it was a better play by Dwight Howard, putting it on the floor, getting to the... Carroll getting it into Teague. And they'll fly Corver to the corner. No opportunity there. Right side instead. Ontich for three. A rainbow with uh, Howard flying at him. Loose ball picked up by Corver. Mike Scott with a spin hook. And the Hawks finally break through at 6.06. It goes over to Teague. He gets around Harden. Here come the Hawks with Scott. Good fast break opportunity there for the Hawks. Uh, the Hawks, can now, the Hawks can now drive the ball to the lane. The White Howard's out of the game, so you got to make a conscious effort to get to the paint. 6'10", Greg Smith has come in to take his place. Lou Williams. There's two for Lou and six against the Pacers here two nights ago. Six straight Atlanta points. Here's Aaron Brooks. He's in for Lynn at the point. James Harden. Shot clock at five. Brooks will carry up a running oh, hook. Oh, man. Beautiful shot by Brooks. Lob to Scott for the jam. And a transition two for Atlanta to make it 13 to eight. Scott, six points. Down the lane to Smith. Greg jams at home. 15 to eight. Well, that's what Harden creates. He creates opportunity because he has most times has mismatches. Lou Williams out to get it. Hawks running with only Aaron Brooks back. Mike Scott with the Statue of Liberty. Uh, Mike Scott running the break. Boy, what a lift he has given the Hawks here in this first quarter. Timeout Rockets. A 15 to 10 ball game after Atlanta was struggling without a point through the first six minutes. But here comes Mike Scott, and here comes another jam. Timeout, Houston. Against Jeremy Lin, you're going to see Lou Williams try to pick up some scoring slack. Hawks shooting 23%. Mike Scott finds Shelvin back for three. And there it is, good ball movement. Hawks starters are 0 for 12. 18-13. Hawks now taking 11 three-point attempts out of 25. Caspi outside here is Garcia Aaron Brooks for three so he hits a lamp and then drills a three oh, he is a a tough little guy not afraid to take big shots Rockets by ten Shelvin Mag end of the clock has to fire Challenged by Lynn Ooh, to no shot. effect. How many of those 
last minute shot, the last second shots you've seen Sheldon Mack hit. And his specialty, drifting to his left. 23-15. Here's Corver. Scott cutting and jamming. Oh, Mike Whoa. Scott just moving without the basketball. That's his third dunk of the first half. Where Nick with the Hawks be without the play of Mike production. Scott? Garcia did the dirty deed. Here's Lynn down the lane. Jeremy Lynn recognizing that the defense was a little lax getting back. Held onto the ball to knock that down. Here's a big kid, 6'3", 200 pounds. Corver, there it is. Uh, Jeremy Lynn, he was, you see Garcia was pointing to Jeremy Lynn to switch. Didn't recognize it. Good shot by Caspi. This not in his repertoire. Blue lays it up, and Mike Scott, Sir Jamalot tonight. Oh, four dunks already. 27-22, Houston timeout for Kevin McHale. And the Rocket comes at 8.16 to go in the second quarter. Nick, you got to dust off the dunk meter tonight for Mike Scott. Oh, yeah. Second team foul on the Hawks in the period. Roddy Brewer and Corbin. Lynn, a deep three. A 36% three-point shooter, averages 14 a contest. Jeremy Lynn with five, and Houston goes up six. Knocked that one down pretty easily. Sent him to the free throw line. Sent him to the line. 37-28 Houston. Four-minute mark, second quarter. Jeff T. That three-point shot has not been there for Jeff, so that's a good sign. Big three there. Jeff, one of his last 18 outside the arc. Harden driving, handling it in. He's just such a tough cover off it. Overall, the Hawks shooting 38%. Paul Millsap hits a three. Well, you don't want to come out and Paul Millsap, he makes him pay. Paul has done an outstanding job outside the arc. 40% this year for the Hawks and having a career year in his three-point shooting. Brand feeding it back out to Teague. Now Millsap. Another three. And they have cut this thing to two. 41-39. We're waiting, James. <laughs> a dump down well, you know, he should have dribbled the ball over. Luckily, he got that pass in. Harden into the clock. Carroll on the fake. And Harden drills. Rockets kicking off a four-game trip out in the East. In fact, they've got the West's best record against the East so far. 10-2. Lob to Howard for the game. Oh, day. boy, did he go upstairs and get that one. That was a nice lob. Fourth dunk for Howard tonight. He's got as many as Mike Scott. The 845 Rockets. Well, I'll tell you what, Jeff T making Jeremy Lynn work a little bit. Oh, big jam follow for Millsap. And the Hawks have cut it to one. Well, I tell you what, Jones has not done a good job of getting back and boxing off the glass. James Hart. Baseline bounds. Terrence Jones angles up and in. Now he gets it back at the offensive end. Houston by three. And they Darren Jones to shoot the ball from the outside. What, Perro and He's Dwight Howard. I tell you what, that's good defense by Perro. Helps on Harden. Hand off to Jones. Two seconds, one. Jones got it off. Rebound Howard for the flush. 13 points for Dwight Howard. He has six field goals tonight, and five of them have been dunks. Houston, 52-47. Jeff T continue to put pressure on Jeremy Lin. He don't want to cut Jeff Teague off the dribble. Millsap, Corver, Kyle, up, in. Well, that was good defense by Brewer, but Cal Corver kept his eye on the rim. Excellent job on Howard and Harden. Corver buries a three. Yes, you don't get back. The Hawks make them pay. 
22nd timeout for Houston. Great action at both ends for the Hawks. First, the great D as they shut down Howard and Harden on a pick and roll. And Harden unable to bury it. But Kyle Corbin knew what to do. Check this out. DeMar Kell just fighting every inch of the way. That's just great defense by Damari. You look at Millsap pushing the ball up the floor, finds Kyle Corbin. The one guy you don't want to leave not makes you pay. The brand. But he gave up a good shot and took a, a bad shot. Teague dumps it off. Corbin! Bullseye! Oh, man. Kyle Corbin is in that group. Sooner or later, you're going to give up on him. Here's Millsap powering it up. And in! Count the basket! Well, actually, that was Paul. Elton. Actually, it was. It was Paul Millsap. First lead tonight for Atlanta. Monte Yunus hooks it in, the 23-year-old 7-foot Lithuanian with his first two. Tied at 59. Good pick and roll, bounce pass inside for a nice and easy jump hook. Kyle Corbett, out to Lou Williams. Well, like I said, Lou Williams is going to get all he wants against Jeremy Lin. Mike Scott, so integral in getting the Hawks going in that first quarter tonight. Oh, he's picking it back up. Nice little jump shot in the lane. Biggest Atlanta lead, Garcia. Howard on the dunk, comes away. That's not a good pass inside. Lou Williams puts up the runner, and it's good. That's six points for Lou Williams tonight. Great to see him take it to the... To the rack, 69-65. Good. 69-65, back. Lou dumps it off. Carroll with a jam. Again, Lou Williams just penetrating, not giving up on the play. Jeremy Lin can't guard him off the dribble. 71-65. Got a block by Kyle Corver. The second shot is good by Monte Yunus. Rockets turn it over. Hawks come away. Here's Shelvin Mack right to the basket. 20 second timeout for the Rockets. That will turn into a full timeout at 832 in the fourth quarter. Shelvin Mack got that baby at midcourt and right to the move though by Perrin. That ball on the first was going to stay down. Brooks for three. Good again. Aaron Brooks had four threes against Atlanta in Houston. That's his third of the night, and Coach Bud wants to stop the clock. Oh, for their last eight, Houston up three. Three to go. Kyle, can he end the streak? Yes, with a three. And, and that saw, ties it. That play was being set up the whole way. Again, going under on Kyle Corver is murder. Fourth three-pointer tonight for Kyle. Dwight Howard does that about 20 times a game. Ooh, Just picked on T. Here comes Harden. Seeking contact. Pumps it up and in. 25 for Harden. 78-76 Houston. So good, James Harden. Millsap. Ball. Harden got in his way. Corner jumper for Carroll is good. That's a three. Damari Carroll, his first field goal of the night, and it's a huge one. Big one. 79 78 Atlanta. See you to get it in. Looking. Finds Caspi. 13 seconds. James Harden. He will drive, kick. Jeremy Lin for the tie. Good. Why oh, they say it's a two? They say it's a two. So it's a one-point game, 81-80. At 
Atlanta by three. Hawks set up the pressure. Jones gets it into Howard. White to Lynn at the buzzer for the tie. Couldn't get it off. Jones heaves it. No basket. The ball game is over, and Atlanta wins. Well, you look at his leg, not real. Well executed, he got the ball to Dwight Howard, should never touch his hand. And there's Jeremy Lin trying to make a pass with the clock running out. Too late. And Atlanta.